you came up with the first wife. I think it was called Home Sweet Home. It was Home Sweet Home. But, um, but yeah, and that's I was like, like nah. not going to be that. Claire is the, the, the first wife, but there is another wife. She so, thought it was like first wife, like, oh, I'm the first lady. First, yeah, lady. first lady. But little when little you, did she know. When you have a, a first wife. wife, there has to be. By definition. By definition, a, a second, second wife. wife. So that's why the title is <laughs> I mean, this episode has been a long time coming in a lot of ways, because way back in the first season, when we first got introduced to Leary, I remember being very focused on the fact that eventually she's going to marry Jamie. Oh, yeah. And I kept insisting to give her more stuff, to make her more sympathetic. Yeah. Someone that you could legitimately believe in some circumstance, Jamie would actually marry this Yeah. Woman. Which in this episode, right. one of the things I thought was really important, and, and the this, this sequence I really like, is the flashback to Hogmanay, right. yeah, big celebration with the music and the dancing. And I really wanted that mystical, kind of heightened sense of, you know, the mood and the night and Jamie dancing and smiling and then seeing her. And that in that moment, you could kind of, the audience could fill in the idea that it is possible that maybe he talked himself into thinking that this was gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah and I, I think the, the hogmony was, what was nice about it is, is that happens to people over the holidays. He's alone and not feeling it. It takes these two little girls to come up and they're, they're, they're so heartwarming. And how do you resist that? In a way, I do believe Jamie married Leary, not so much for Leary, but for to be a father. And the other thing that I know took a lot of discussion in the room and beyond was, when does Jamie tell Claire about Leary and how and under what circumstances? Right. He doesn't play this way in the book, but we kind of see Jamie struggling with it early, even though we don't know what he's struggling right. with. Right. So that we, the audience, sort of know that something's on his mind. He just hasn't quite gotten himself right. to the place to actually say this to her. Right. She's just shown up in life. But I think it helps us understand the character a little bit better. To me, that fight is really great. It feels like it's just full of emotion, full of betrayal on both sides. And she was with another and you man. Were with yeah. She went back to a husband yeah. and lived 20 years. In the end, when Jamie and Claire stand to watch young Ian, reality sets in. Yeah. yeah. The scene itself is kind of some book, some not book. I think in the book, maybe Claire is a little more sure. She doesn't doubt as much the relationship. And I think they wouldn't be human if they didn't have a doubt here or there. You know, part of her has got to be saying, God, was this a mistake? Will you risk the man I am for the sake of the one you once knew? If Jamie hadn't been feeling some reticence on Claire's part, we wouldn't have the joy of that, her sticking by him if we didn't have show the ambivalence as well.